Okay, we're here with Concordia um, after the uh, conclusion of the Super Regional here from left to right. Uh, we're joined by Sydney Sprinkle, head coach Crystal Rosenthal, Danny Cole, and Taylor Urrutia. Coach, I want to start with you. I know it's an emotional time and it was a really hard fought game again today. Just your thoughts on how um, today and this week went. Yeah, today's tough. Um, Danny gave up four hits and took a loss. Uh, which is a bummer. <laughs> this is a really difficult game. I mean, hats off to San Marcos. You have to you have to give them credit where credit's due. They came up in a big moment uh, in the sixth inning and really went to work. Uh, we made a couple mistakes. They capitalized and came up with a big home run. Uh, this certainly doesn't define our season. Um, but that would be I would be a lie if I said that that's what my feelings are today. But really disappointed. I um, really thought that we had what it took to get to the next level. It's very difficult to win in the Super Regionals, but I'm really proud of my team. Um, all the things I've asked of them all year long, uh, they've done, and then some. And I think the biggest thing for me, and I was, what I shared after the game, just what a joyful group of kids to be around every day. Um, I think sometimes people forget how much pressure it is to try to do this, how hard it is. It looks really easy from the stands. <laughs> you know, like, why aren't you doing this and why are you doing that? Well, it's hard. That's why. And the other team is also trying their best. So proud of my team. Um, I'd like to get on the other side of this one year so I could be talking about getting our team to the World Series. But winning conference, winning a conference tournament, getting to a Super Regional is nothing to slouch out. So proud of my team, but really hurt for them today and disappointed. And I know they're hurting. So uh, that's the hardest part for me. Sydney, next question for you. Um, uh, what do you remember about this game we just played? It was kind of a blur. There were ups and downs. Uh, I'm sure if it in particular was a turning point from your point of view. I think we did a much better job today in just – showing up in general in all aspects. We paid attention to the small details. We brought a better game today. We just got beat in an inning. I mean, mm. that's just the bottom line. We came out fighting. Um, I thought we did a much better job than we did uh, yesterday. And like Crystal said, I'm proud of the te our team. I definitely think we gave it our all today. Disappointed, frustrated, but we – had a great season, so I'm really proud. Danny, similar question for you. I'm um, just reflecting on how this week turned out and how you guys bounced back today to take the lead here and um, clearly gave it everything you had. Mm -hmm. What was that like from your perspective? I'm just proud of our team. I mean, <clears throat> we suffered a tough loss yesterday, but the coaches asked us to respond, and that's what we did. We came back fighting, and, I mean, it's not the outcome we wanted, but I think that we gave it our all, and we really came together as a team today after a tough day yesterday. So. I think that really sums up our season, too. We just, whenever we suffered something that, <coughs> you know, was tough, we came back together and showed everyone who we are. And I can't wait to see what they do in the next few years because I know they're going to go super far. Taylor, I wanted to ask you as well on what this senior group has meant to you and, and to the team. This team, of all four years that I've been, has been the best team, I think. And I go from the pitching staff to the catchers to the infielders, outfielders, everyone's just great coaching staff. I couldn't be more proud to finish my uh, years as a student athlete with them. And I think we can say for all, we're really bummed, but I love this team and these coaches. Sydney, I know, um, you know, your years here and, and you guys have put so much into it as a student and as an athlete. Um, you know, what does it mean to you to wear the CUI, you know, across, across your chest? Uh, I mean, it means everything. I wouldn't want to represent another university. <sighs> Tough question, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't be more <coughs> proud to wear any other university across my chest for five years. I mean, this really is my home. I've, since day one, the fans, the coaching staff, the team, everybody has taken a chance on me. They never once doubted me. They've believed in me. They've supported me through and through, and I wouldn't do it any other way. I would to play another five years here if I could, and I'm just really appreciative of especially our coaches, um, my teammates, um, my time here at school I thought was fulfilling. Um, I'm really blessed to be able to be getting my graduate degree or my master's degree, and I'm really excited to come back as a graduate assistant to be able to 
pour more back into the program. Tough answer to follow, but I wanted to at least open up to you guys to have the same opportunity. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> like Sprinkle said, it's it's really hard to put into words what this program means. But, I mean, I came in my freshman year from Arizona not knowing one single person, and I'm, I'm leaving after four years with countless amounts of sisters, like friends that will last me a lifetime and coaches and mentors that have taught me so much and prepared me for the real world. And Crystal runs a great program here, <clears throat> followed by Rose and Mari and Lo and Mel this year. I mean, it's a competitive program, and it really makes you a better person. You leave it better than you found it. Yeah, I mean, my freshman year, I transferred here, and I'm so glad I did. Um, these past four years, I've met everything, and I mean, every position matters. It doesn't matter if you're on the field, on the bench, and I think that Crystal echoes that, and it's just a great program to be a part of, and I'm so glad I've gotten to play here. Can I say one more thing on that? Sure. I don't think people understand how much this coaching staff really cares about each of us individually as a person. Um, softball, like, yes, that's our job to go and play on the field, but that is probably like the smallest part of what they care about. Um, they want us to grow as people individually, and I don't, I don't think they get enough credit for that because all you guys see is the success on the field, but honestly, it's been really cool seeing for the past five years, each class coming in and myself and just grow as people mature, as people on and off the field. And uh, it's it's really cool. And I don't think people understand how much they actually genuinely care about each of us. And softball is just a tiny portion of that. So I'm really grateful for that. Chris, I know it's very rewarding to hear that as a, as a, a leader. So um Congrats again on a, a great year. I don't know if there's anything else you'd like to add, but yeah, I just want to want to thank my coaching staff. I think just like a team, um, this was a special group of kids. But for me, as a coach, it takes a special person to be able to work with me and for me. Um, from my trainer Jasmine, who was an alumni for us, to Mel, to Mari, to Lolo, and I, of course, especially to Rose. Um, what Rose is able to do year in and year out is really unbelievable. Um, she doesn't ever sit up here, nor does she want to. Um, but my staff is unbelievable, uh, and I'm so very grateful. You know, I watched Twan line the field today. Um, I watched the guys mow our grass. Uh, just the pride everybody takes that's around our program, and I think it's a, a big check to people getting invested and being a part of it. So I just I want to thank my coaches more than anybody else. They do laundry. They listen to me rant and rave. They watch endless hours of film, cut film. Um, it's a special place because of the people, uh, and I'm really lucky to be a byproduct of that, too. I always thought when I took the job, I wanted to just leave it better than I found it. Um, that'll continue to be my goal as long as I'm here. Well, thank you again, ladies, and uh, I know it didn't turn out the way you wanted to today, but congrats on a great season. Thanks Thank for you. Time.